Hey Cookies, Pat here. the last little bit of daylight this evening and I wanted to spend it um, with you sharing a poem with you and this is a poet with whom we haven't worked before his name is Kyle Dargan and the reason why I wanted to present him to you today is I wanted to show you that poetry isn't always about stuff that's of the past and it isn't always about things that we may not connect to. Sometimes poetry and literature is a way that people can express um, connections to what's happening for real in the world today. And I chose Kyle Dar Dargan because, as I said, he's contemporary. He's an African-American poet. He lives and he teaches in Washington, DC. Um, he's somebody who I think you guys, um, when you hear his voice, are going to connect with him. Okay, so um, the name of the poem that I'm going to read is Poem Resisting Arrest. And as I read it, I want you to think about the metaphor of the poem in the poem. Okay, think about this extended metaphor and what it means to you. All right, here we go. Poem Resisting Arrest by Kyle Dargan. This poem will be guilty. It assumed it retained the right to ask its question after the page came up flush against its face. The purpose this poem serves is obvious, even to this poem, and that cannot stop the pen or the fist choking it. How the page tastes at times, unsalted. Powerlessness in the poem's mouth a blend of that and what it has swallowed of the news. It spits blood, inking. It is its own doing and undoing. This poem is trying to compose itself. It has the right to remain either bruised or silent, but it is a poem. So it hears you'd be safer if you stopped acting like a poem, ceased resisting. Where is the daylight? This poem asks and is thus crushed between existence and resistance, between the now bloodied page and the poem. Another poem will record the arrest of this poem, decide what to excerpt. That poem will fail. It won't find the right metaphor for the pain of having to lift epigraphs from the closing words of poems that were accused of resisting. That poem is numb. This poem is becoming numb already losing feeling in its cuffed phrasing. No one will remember the nothing of which this poem was accused, just that it was another poem that bled. This poem never expected to be this poem, yet it must be. For you who will not acknowledge the question, this poem knew it was dangerous to ask why. <laughs> 